Don't set the podcast with that shit, bro. I'm not trying <laughs> to get. <laughs> I'm not trying to get slain by Drake. He already doesn't like us. Can you do something? I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this already. Yeah. Uh, her loss. Top five Drake album ever. Damn. Bro, off, off, off the, I want to say the third, fourth listen, yeah. I could say it's a classic. But I'm not going to lie to you, the mm. first like listen I gave in. It didn't have a lot of misses. No misses. Yeah. No misses. Personally, no misses. Oh, yeah. Second listen in, I'm like, okay, it's pretty good. Fact. It felt a little bit kind of the same <laughs> until the third, fourth listen of the whole thing. Yeah. Like, bro, classic. Because, yo, the Travis one, the Pussy and Millions. Yeah. That first listen, I was like. Holy shit! Like, and then you were saying that God, at, at that was first. a generic ass. Yeah, like, yeah. This is Travis's craziest features, fam. Debatable. Well, 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 what I'm saying, what I'm saying, the, the first time I listened to it, yeah, I think you had to put yourself into the vibe of that of that music because mm-hmm. I feel like when you're not in like a a tone for the album, uh-huh. the first time you hear the album, it's like weird but i feel because like you're not you're not on that frequency <laughs> but you were in uh you were in arizona and i feel like you would feel good in arizona because you're not in the city so it's like yo I'm no you have to be in toronto to like drake nah, bro. or it's like or it's like oh I, i'm on vacation like this if, is blessed if you're listening to a drake album you want to be in toronto you don't want to be out there that is true that is true and or you want to be in atlanta because 21's in there but it's good that oh my fault go ahead. go no, no, go no because it was like uh i thought that uh, i do i wouldn't like 21 on the album yeah but it was pretty like it was a good like little mix but it, it got like predictable like he would Drake would start singing and then the beat would drop and then 21 came on you think it's predictable okay fire though that's yeah, all I'm gonna say fire. it's fire I'm, I'm gonna say it's not fire it's fire because it's like it's it's what we expected but it delivered you yeah I mean? for sure because a lot of the times when we expect something and it's super hyped up it doesn't deliver but this shit delivered yeah. he had to after honestly never mind yeah I'm gonna say this bro did you see uh the marketing build up for it though? Uh I only saw the ad that he posted on Instagram. You what saw you the- saw the Vogue magazine. Do you know he's getting sued by Vogue for like oh, I think 20 mil or some shit? Yeah, the tiny couch? And tiny no tiny tiny tiny, tiny desk. Tiny, oh, tiny desk, desk concert, concert too. Yeah. They they didn't get mad though. They're not mm-hmm. suing Drake. And also uh David Stern. So Drake and 21 Savage uh-huh. for their marketing rollout, uh-huh. they made a fake Vogue magazine okay. and then the pages in there and the, the ads in the magazine were all like doctored. It's their own shit. It's not a real Vogue magazine. That's wild. And then they made a fake uh, David Stern episode yeah. uh, trying to promote that. the album. It was actually just old David Stern mm-hmm. talking and then uh, they added in they their, added. They had their own questions and answers and shit, yeah. right? Was that the... No, it was the... Was that the one where it's like, um, what porn categories are you in? Are you into it? Yeah, some shit like, like that. Some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's smart. Yeah. It's smart, but he did get sued by Vogue. That's yeah. the only problem. I mean, shit, it did work. He has like, what? Uh, for sales, he's definitely going billboard. Yeah. Yeah. His, but uh, but Taylor Swift like knocked him out still. I guess, I guess. But, <laughs> but like, Taylor Swift's a different beast. In rap. <laughs> different beast. In rap. But I do have a theory for the album. Okay. I, sa- I sent this right away to the group chat. Nobody even looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> because I was like, ah, it's like. So okay, like, check this out. Check yeah. this out. So Drake yeah. actually dissed a rapper on Broke Boys. Who? A specific Toronto rapper, but nobody realized it. It, it like mm. flew over everybody's head. Yeah. Now, who he dissed was actually top five. Now, how would you say did he diss top five? Is he in jail? I think I don't I even know. Top, he I might think be top in, jail. Five is in jail. I'm not sure. But I was listening to the song, right? And you know how the beat switch at the end? Yeah. It's a different flow and it sounded a little bit, it didn't sound like usual Drake. I'm like, hmm, this sounds reminiscent of somebody, but I can't put my finger on it. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. This is the same flow on top five song. That's why drill some more. So listen to this. Okay. So this is the Drake. This is the this is Broke Boys by Drake, right? right and and Tony One. One. So you know that I can talk to broke boy, yeah. I can talk to, and then and then listen to top five. I don't want to play the whole song, but that shit sounds exact same, bro. That sound, and listen, listen. Now in the yeah. Drake song, in the Drake song, if you if you if you listen to the lyrics too, okay. he says. Oh nah, Yo, that's so petty. he said, I can't even think how you came up with that flow, boy. That's so petty. that's him saying he's he's copying the flow. Wow. And that's literally the flow of the song. Look. Wow. Right? And if you read the lyric, if you read the lyrics of the whole track, uh-huh. he's really dissing, bro. Look, read this whole shit. He says, rapping about the bricks and the licks. Then you hear real life, you're out with your. Whatever he's talking about, it, it yeah. looks, sounds like him. That, see, allegedly, that's, allegedly. That's funny because like I've I've seen a lot of that, but it's he stole something from another rapper. 
Who? Uh, and this is the most popular one. Flight reacts. How? Broke boy. Oh, so, that's who he's dissing, you think? I, maybe. I don't know. But look, if you listen to this, I'll play a snippet. Let me hear. Everyone on the internet saying this. It's it's flight. Okay, I don't, I don't know on that one. But everyone's... And flight, I think flight went on the stream. He's yeah. like... What the fuck? That's a track. He, <laughs> he took it. But that's the problem with Drake because he's yeah. so popular. There's so many different lyrics that could address so many different people. Facts. But I think specifically that one might be mm -hmm. for Tafa. There was another one that I was really questioning because it's like everyone says that he dissed Ice Spice. How? Because he, he said something about, oh, you're a 10, but your music sounds better on mute. But it's so generic. That it's like, yeah. but I, f I feel like people are, are relating it to Ice Spice because Drake did fly out Ice Spice. Mm -hmm. But if so, why would he diss someone he flew out? Like, no, because it didn't work out. Know, yeah, maybe he didn't. She didn't. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> did you see? Did you see what Kanye said to his diss? What? What did he say? So so Drake uh, on one of his lyrics, he says, "Linking with the ops, bitch. I did that for Jay Prince." That's what so, he said. Yeah. So when, when they did the Jay Hoover concert that's when they linked and everyone's like oh they're back together they're finally like the beef is squashed mm -hmm. he said that and then yay said yo enough already i done gave this man his flowers multiple times let's see really who are real ops in the music game imagine all the rappers are on the same side and everyone cleaning up each other's contracts mm -hmm. it's kingdom time love drake hashtag love speech <laughs> oh so that's yay to drake yeah so so it's like um I don't agree with a lot of the shit that Ye says, like, mm. politically. Mm. But when he's talking about, like, God mm. and stuff, like, I 100% believe what he's saying. Because, yeah. like, there was this thing called, um, I don't know if you heard this theory. It's it's called the Jesus contract. What's that? So Kanye was preaching in one of his, um, his concerts, I think, or, like, he held a little concert. Yeah. And he said this. He was like, he's like... Oh, uh, they've taken they've taken all the producers, they've taken all the artists, mm -hmm. and they've moved us to Hollywood. The, the D word has taken all of us to Hollywood to chase these gold trophies. Mm. And in these contracts, you can't say the word. Oh Jesus. yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, and he said in Ye Studio you can say Jesus, and they all went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you know, but I did more research. And it's crazy. You don't realize how the media censors the word Jesus. I yo, there's clips and clips of that yeah, shit. Yeah, so there was one, a big one, where a soccer player he was celebrating Neymar. With, it was yeah, Neymar. Neymar. Yeah, and he was wearing the Jesus band, mm -hmm. and on TV they blurred it out. Yeah, and then uh, one of the boxers, I think, he was like after an interview, he was like, "Oh, yo, um, I dedicate this win to my Lord and Savior." J and then it cut out mm -hmm. right away. And every time on the news, whenever like there's political stuff going, oh, Jesus did this, Jesus did that. Always cut it out. Yeah. So if they shadow ban this video, come on, man. Yeah. Chill, chill. Oh, yeah. You're not going to shadow ban this video, but fuck. Nah, bro. Because a lot of the time you see and hear about it everywhere. Yeah. But it's just always swept under the rug because you don't want to bring up those type of topics. What's crazy with Kanye though, yeah. because he he bring he's so popular and then he does talk about this stuff. It's hard for anybody to ignore because he's so big. I know. So that's a problem if you're controlling the media and then you have somebody like that that in a sense, does con is the media. Yeah, is the media. In a sense, you can say like he is the media because everybody's eyes are on him too. Yeah. Then that's a real issue. And then that's why they're trying. So that's why it's such a big struggle, such a big fight. I know. Right? Like if Conor McGregor was signed under the UFC and then Conor McGregor wanted more money or he wanted certain things to be done, yeah. of course, he's going to get his way because he, in a sense, runs Your the person. UFC, right? Yeah. Like a huge portion of the attention comes from him. Now, what's funny though too, yeah. isn't it weird how... Um, Kanye's saying all these like anti-Semitic stuff, right? Yeah. And Drake's Jewish. Oh, <laughs> Did you oh, bag that? Yo, Did you I bag that? Drake's Jewish, fam. What the hell? Did you take that in? Kanye's literally, so Kanye was beefing with Drake literally last year. Yeah. He's saying all these anti-Semitic stuff. Maybe, but Drake is Jewish. Wow. Yo, maybe that's why he, Drake went back on the disc like, oh yeah, fuck this guy. Maybe too. Yeah. That might be it too, to be honest. Wow. So he was on um some enemies, keep your enemies close type shit. Mm. That's so petty of Drake. But, but at the same time, I get okay, it. Okay, okay. This yeah. is what's crazy though, because one of the things he was saying was, uh, Kanye was saying, a lot of the media is owned by Jewish people. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not even a conspiracy theory. That's literally just true. Yeah. And it's hard for, like... Because he said some disrespectful shit, too. Because when you say disrespectful shit, then that discredits everything else you said. Now we can't listen to the other stuff. Yeah. 
But if let's say you drop a bar and it has some real uh, good intention, some real information, and then you say some disrespectful stuff, now we can't listen to the whole thing. Yeah. Now you have to decipher what to what. Mm-hmm. But that part, specifically that part, how a lot of the the owners of media are Jewish people. I literally Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. That, no, that's not that's not fake. That's literally like fact. I know it's so like. Just having a hold of social media and, and like media in general mm-hmm. is so important because I feel like um because there was this thing where it's like I feel like I know why now uh we f- we fit the agenda because it's like it's not it's not in a good way like yeah. how we thought because I saw this comment and he was like um this new podcast wave has given people uh like the confidence to have this freedom of speech mm. which brings up all these different arguments and everyone starts arguing each other and the more and more it it like brings up that's that's better for them mm. because we're fighting they literally don't have to they're just watching us argue and this this right here mm. has given people the confidence to go out and and uh put their their opinions out i think there. that's good though i don't think that's bad i know but but that that you can see it in two ways though that's but that's why it's like oh i kind of saw it like oh shit like that's why they're pushing us out like that. Here's the thing, because we people have <laughs> have thoughts themselves for yeah. thousands and thousands of years. Uh-huh. It's just that we're able to hear everybody's opinion because yeah. of social media, because it's it's broadcasted, blah blah. blah. Yeah. Now, if you have a community mm-hmm. of people that just listen and then don't speak out, then what do you have? You just have slaves. Yeah. Listen, like I'm a I'm literally a slave to social media. I'm Yo. literally a slave to social. I wake up and I go to my phone and then I'm I'm like looking at my phone and shit like yeah. locked did, in, fam. Did you, you did you see the Chunks interview where they were like um Chunks was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be honest, a, a lot of people are saying I wasn't I'm not funny anymore." Facts, I'm not funny anymore because the the cancer culture has Every time I post a, a video, I have to watch it two more times to see if I'm saying something mad, you know, to mm. so that won't offend. It's like, that's why it's like the more opinions plus the cancel culture, that's a perfect recipe for like them. You know, it's it's easy. Yeah. You know, it's it's I, like I never saw it until like <laughs> that comment, that one comment. Okay. I want to bring up a story because this is crazy. I heard this recently. Okay. You know, Danny Trejo. Who's that? An artist? No, he's an actor. He was in Spy Kids. He's Machete. Oh, okay. remember? Machete, yeah. Yeah. So there's a story mm. how Danny Trejo, he was in he was in prison, right? Do you know you can actually hypnotize somebody to feel drug hallucinations? Drug hallucinations? Yeah. So how? you can hypnotize somebody to feel like they're high. <laughs> make them feel like they're high off of different drugs, depending on what type of drug they had. What had. the fuck? How? Dead ass. So Danny Trejo, yeah. he was in jail. And guess who was his, cell, his cellmate? Uh, Charles Manson. What? Yeah. Charles Manson, the, cult, the cult leader. Now yeah. check this out. So Charles Manson, mm-hmm. he was super popular, especially in prison, because he had this ability that he would be able to hypnotize his inmates mm. and let them feel euphoria, let them feel high yeah. off of different drugs that he's tried. Off just like brain? Yeah, just from what you remember. What? So what's crazy is Danny <laughs> Trejo, um, he's like, can, can you let me feel what, what hero- heroin feels like? Okay. Right? And then... uh. Charles Manson, he said, he pretty much said, I can't let you feel something that you never felt before. I can only bring back memories that you've already experienced. So okay. he was able to to make him feel like he was high off marijuana, but not off of an experience. Uh, yeah, but not other drugs that he's never tried. So isn't that crazy? It's like conditioning for later. Yeah. How is that possible though? It's like you would just you would just tell him over and over. Is it like some? I don't know. Yeah, you. Because yeah, hypnotism is a, is a strange thing, right? Because to hypnotize somebody is brainwashing them. Now, what's crazy with the hypnotizing and brainwashing thing yeah. is Charles Manson was literally recruited by the CIA, mm. and experiments were done on him. Yeah, I remember you told me that. Yeah, experiments were done on him, and they were all hypnotism, MK Ultra. Yeah. It's that's a, that shit. Dude. So. No wonder he can do that stuff. But they definitely have tactics because um I don't know if you've seen Doja Cat recently. Mm. And there's word there's like things that going around where she was in an interview and there's a thing where if your shoulders are really slumped low, yeah. you're unconscious and you really don't have a feeling of your body. So it's like some people have said that she's she she sold her soul and she's playing fun of it because she's that goofy character, right? Mm-hmm. But recently she's not playing that character. And it's weird because it's like uh in in that same interview. Uh, when she got close to the camera, 
like her team kind of pulled her away. Why? I don't know. So they said they don't get a clear vision of the eyes or something. And then like there was a bruise that was supposed to be makeup, but oh. it looks really, really like realistic. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like that shit is not like like makeup, mm. you know? And the craziest thing she threw an eyes wide shut uh, theme party. Yeah, she had a party like that. For her 27. Because it's like, I feel like only the people that really look into it will, will believe it. But the people out there are like, Doja Cat's such a troll. Troll. She's not in it. Do you know what the black eye is? What's the black eye? You don't know what the black eye is for? Nah. Dog, the black eye is a whole ritual and thing in itself. Oh, nah. So they say there's this thing called the black eye club. You never oh, heard about this? No, nah, I didn't. So pretty much a lot of celebrities, even presidents, people in power, positions yeah. of power, they all at some point had this like black eye. No and that was a sign that they've initiated into this elitist club, see, whether so it be the Illuminati, whatever, whatever it is. See, there's it is, right? no way that's makeup. Fam. Now, Google, everybody Google the black eyed club okay. and you can see different celebrities that have it. Like, there's literally so many here. I'll, I'll show you right now. Okay, Check this shit out. Robert Downey Jr., Ryan Gosling, uh, Adam Sandler, George Bush, Barack Obama, bro. Kanye, what? Is, what the Kanye, fuck? okay, but that was from his crash. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it's it's hard to say for sure. Things like this, we can't know for sure because maybe they just had an accident. You yeah. know what I mean? I know, but the, but the symbolism, like you said, um, uh, also at her party, yeah. you know, um, she had a mask and she was dressed up, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a movie where she was trying to represent like that movie. Yeah. And in that movie, she was wearing a Volto mask, which, means, that? which means ghost, right? Which translates mm -hmm. to ghost. And that same person in that movie that she dressed up as, she was sacrificed in that oh, movie. Oh, shit. So it's like, you have the black eye, you have the 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 mask, you literally, it's on your 27th birthday, the 27th club. Well, that's, just, that's her 27th birthday? Yes. That's like, fucked. Like, come on, man. Like, th there's no way that this shit is coincidence. Yeah, that's kind of fucked, bro. And like, okay, so this is the bigger news. Yeah. Remember back then where I talked about the Senpaku eyes? Mm -hmm. How there's um a lot of white under your eyes? Yeah. Guess who had it? Who? Take off. Oh shit, he did have that. Yeah, Takeoff's eyes are mad weird. Like you see so much, so much things uh white under his eyelids. Explain to them what the what the Sanpaku eye is. Here. Yeah, so um so if you guys look right now, you can see that my eye is touching like my what do you call this? Eyelid. The eyelid. eyelid, yeah. So if there's a lot of space, if there's like like a lot of this, then that means this uh the world is out to get you. And what happened to Takeoff? Fuck. And there's a bigger theory. I don't know if you if you've seen the music video. But there's a theory that the whole takeoff music video was yeah. predictive foreshadowing. Which music video is this? The recent one, fam. Before he died. Lily, the day he died, the music video dropped. Are you so listen, listen. Which music video is it? I never uh, I didn't okay, see it. Okay, so so uh, search up Quavo and takeoff music video. So in the first three seconds before you play it, I'm gonna say, yeah. say what happened. Quavo and so takeoff was like this, and Quavo was like, yo, 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 uh, take, take. I had a crazy dream, fam. It was messy. Messy? Yo. It was messy. So predictive foreshadowing. What happened to Takeoff? Listen. Yeah, yeah. What Takeoff died November 1. Yeah. If you go to 1 minute and 11 seconds, mm -hmm. how did he die? On the floor. Due to uh, a dice game. Yeah. At one, at 1 minute, 11 seconds, there's a scene where they're doing a gambling no. scene. Are you serious? One eleven. The nah. same. Day. Go, go to that shit. Nah, no go way, no way, no Predict way. No Predictive This shit is not a coincidence. RP takeoff, but there's no way that this shit is like not planned or a sacrifice. Yeah, I'm this sorry. is recent. Eight days ago. Eight days ago, and go to the the first seconds and see the messy scene. Okay, let's check this out. Fuck. Does that mean he's like a? I hate doing that so close to. Their... I hate it. I hate it too. Fam, that's but... that's weird, man. But look, look. Messy ass shit. Messy ass shit. Now go to one one Yo. one one. Go to one one one, and on the table they're doing gambling, the same way that Takeoff died. No way. Look 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 look. Yo. Look at that shit. There's no way you can tell me that. And shit that's her. A, that's during his verse. That's during his verse. <laughs> like R.I.P. Takeoff. Like R.I.P. Takeoff, fam. Like I don't. I I hope this shit is not true. That's fuck. And you are, I'm gonna blow your mind again. Yeah. You know how I was talking about the, how the industry has, has contracts and signs these artists. And once you don't 
uh, fulfill your your amount of money, yeah, and, and then they're they not selling, they'll kill you they'll off, kill you right? Off. So, uh, I did more research, and their album, the the one they dropped with Quavo after they broke off, yeah, they did. They did like 31k sales mm. or 33 units. It was it was for a, takeoff, it was a that's, flop. That's not really a great yeah. thing. Like uh Culture 2 did 131,000. Damn. So how, how you tell you feel me? So theory yeah. Okay, I'm not saying this is true obviously, but you're saying he was killed off. Yeah. And then brought the the attention back to the group. Yeah. That's fucked if that's true. And you know what? I'll blow your mind again. Yeah. In one of the scenes it literally has a contract, yeah. and right beside it, it says contract Migos, mm -hmm. a gun right beside it. Go there's ahead. too much. <laughs> there's too much, fam. Like, there's no way. Like, there's an That's actual so frame. Fucked. Like, you can't tell me this is not, like, like <laughs> all planned. That's scary. Okay, if this shit is true, yeah. if this shit is really true, and it's predetermined, and they're showing it to our eyes... What is the true purpose, Gavin? Like, why are they showing it to us then? I really don't know. Think about that. Think about that. Let's say this is true. Yeah. Let's say all of that stuff is planned Um, because he wasn't making it, his his money. They had to, you know, unalive him, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Bring the attention back to the Migos, blah, blah, blah. But why would they show it to us in a music video? I think, okay, I think I got it. I think it's like to, to make us... Uh, like subconsciously this is like all subconscious that the d word is still present mm. like like this shit happens you can manifest like spiritually like your words but not just your words your thoughts mm. like they probably thought of that music video they did all that and they came to life yeah but what why do you think because like i still don't know i feel like it's just you know what that's that's crazy you say that though like yeah. that concept of that because mm. i watched this movie recently yeah. this was literally the the scariest movie titled on tiktok everybody oh. was talking about this shit right what is it this movie called incantation oh i heard you heard about this yeah 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 now it plays with this idea this concept that you know how you see those um optical illusions where you can see a train moving one way okay. but if you really focus it will move the other It'll way move the other way yeah. yeah yeah and then there's another one with a ferris wheel if you focus on turning clockwise yeah but focus on the other side it will turn counterclockwise okay now in the movie they say this process and this i guess manifestation of you changing the reality of it yeah is how blessings work and throughout the movie this is one of the most creative movies i've seen mm. because it literally makes you participate no in the movie way. so you can move shit in the movie no it way. makes you participate in the movie yeah. how 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 now check this out. I don't want to spoil too much, yeah. but it deals a lot with um rituals, curses, and and spiritual um spiritual like seances, right? Okay. Now I fuck, there's a lot of hauntings that happen in the movie. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the the common conjurings and people getting possessed and stuff, right? Yeah. But there was this one moment in the movie where this woman she drives up she's actually a youtuber mm. her and her boyfriend are a youtuber okay and they drive up to this mountain in asia yeah now where they set is actually it's like this temple okay. and they worship this deity that's not necessarily the most safe yeah it's a dd is like cursed items right yeah okay and it's quote unquote taboo to worship this this deity now what happens right mm. they disrespect the whole ritual okay. so they're invited to take a look and actually pray with them and worship with them mm. but they decide to take on their own personal mission of getting content and shit right yeah so they enter this like tunnel that you should never enter and inside this tunnel there's like a bunch of mirrors and there's like fuck there's like statues and shit i don't want to spoil too much uh, bro yeah. but anyways because of them disrespecting it yeah. and something else happens terrible to yeah. those people later on in the movie fuck bro should i just spoil it i should just spoil it because you guys don't you guys don't have a sense of what's happening <laughs> the number one comment is like carlos like yo i don't want to spoil it then it's like spoils yeah. the whole movie okay i'm a, spoiler alert okay spoiler alert right now because i can't explain it without like <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah. i mean without spoiling shit right. so this is what happens fam so pretty much right okay throughout the movie in the beginning of the movie she's kind of saying okay this is what happened 
my my daughter and I were cursed because we we um disrespected the taboo, right? Course, yeah. Now, throughout the movie, it's her saying, "Please help us," blah blah blah. This I need you guys to pray with me, yeah. and she's doing these different mudras and different things with her hands Fuck. and different prayers, right? Yeah. Now, throughout the movie, you need to pray with her. You need to say and chant these things with her. What the fuck? No, this is what's crazy, Gavin. This is what's crazy. <laughs> now, almost like one whole scene in the movie was literally just like a whole image of these uh, scriptures and different um, Sanscripts on on paper, right? And she's saying, chant with me. And you're saying all of these different words like, Damn. like all of that shit, right? No. But you're supposed to do it with her. Now, what's crazy throughout the movie, she says, I'm sorry. Now, what you've just done, if you chanted it with her, stop. you've actually cursed yourself stop, to stop. join the curse with them. So what happened was all of those people in the taboo that that um worship it and kind of conjure together mm -hmm. they're actually all cursed and the point of their religion mm -hmm. or their um i guess belief system is they're all cursed but the way to dilute the curse yeah. is to get more people involved so the more people involved the less and less and less the curse oh, is. Oh, I guess it's like spreads. It's, yeah, so it's, it's spread not targeted out. to it's you. Not direct, it's not directly targeted at one person. Did you watch this? Out. I watched it. And you said all this. No way you did. Because <laughs> you would be way more like, oh shit. I no, you it. know what's crazy though? What? So I was watching it. <laughs> and you're like, I, I predicted the plot twist. Oh, okay. I predicted the plot twist. I knew what was going on. Yeah, but So it wasn't that sick to me. But for all my cousins, they're like, whoa, what yes. the fuck? <laughs> you're like, yo, Carlos, I said it. Pop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But for me, like when the shit was on the screen, I'm just like, <laughs> you're good. You're no, no, I else. specifically went like this. Like, I, I didn't want to show my cousins, but I just yeah. like, <laughs> I put like a finger in my That's ear, I'm just like this. That's what like, <laughs> It's like they're all saying that <laughs> around you, and you're just like this. That's Loki Elmans. If you know, if you know it was coming, you should have said, "Guys, don't do that." Yo, but I'm not gonna lie. Like the whole movie is pretty sick because it yeah. is a it is um a foreign film, That's so sick. everything's in subtitles. Unless you watch the dub, I watched it in dub because it was super late, and my cousins <laughs> didn't want to read subtitles. But it's pretty scary, fam. Was it's there, scary. Was there? Is this based on a true story? Yeah, it's actually based oh, on a true story. Nah. So it's crazy. Oh, nah. This shit is actually based on a true story. Yeah. There was. Um, um, there was this case where this mother and her two daughters, she murdered them oh, man. and she murdered them because of ritualistic things, because she was a part of this, um, this group of people that worshipped a quote unquote, a deity like that. Yeah, I think I think I talked about uh, the incantation was like that was one of the scariest movies or was it? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's this is because this is recent. I think this, this came recent? out like okay. this year. Yeah, because like I remember I went on Netflix and I, I was in the mood for a, a horror like movie type night. Mm -hmm. And then so I was by myself in the dark and the first one come up. I, I go on TikTok. Oh, you guys should watch The Watcher. Mm -hmm. The one where it's like the, ha the guys, with the knife and the house in the background. Yeah. So I go to that one. The first scene is based on a true story and like red blood i'm like ah that's <laughs> like that was my movie night like fam, yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah. all that like i'm i'm such a freaking like i have so much confidence in myself until mm. that that word statement based on a true up, story man. now what's funny is yeah. it didn't even show it throughout the whole movie based on true story. i had to i had to research in and yeah it was like wow. based on true of true events yeah but that movie itself like the the con like i mean the the rituals and stuff yeah. It's a made up religion and stuff. Okay, okay. Like it, it, it takes it takes inspiration from things, but it's not sp Obviously. that specific like deity who isn't real. Yeah. No, because yeah. I feel like they wouldn't make a imagine that was true though. If they made a movie where they literally make you recite shit and while you're watching you're like, mm. <laughs> like you're, you're like going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what if oh my god, bro, mm. going back to the Drake thing, yeah. And I hate this because I really love the song, uh -huh. but Cause you believe in manifestation, obviously, yeah, and you believe in words of affirmation, yes, for sure. What if I told you that Drake song "Pussy and Millions" was actually a negative affirmation? Oh yeah, because it's talking about um materialistic stuff, "Pussy and Millions." Not right? even just that. What? What's the most um catchy part of that song? What is it? I more forgot. money, more oh, problems. More money, more. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Bring on the problems. Oh. Why does, it, why does it repeat it like exactly a exactly so listen listen what if what if 
that's a negative affirmation to us. So oh, that because wow. if you say affirmations, it low key gets into your head and yeah, yeah, yeah. it kind of manifests itself. So I like that song. That's what's fucked. But repeatedly saying that in my head for sure. bring on the problems why would i want to bring problems on to me back then i would have never thought but now me, you but it, that, that like, shit's real fam. obviously once you change your thinking and it's like now you're yeah. thinking of that shit then it changes but nah that makes sense because rituals are like like real. it's just chance yeah, yeah it's just chance bro and then i feel like the rap industry is just a bunch of chance if you think about it yeah, yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just a bunch of money uh the B word, stuff like that. Yeah. All over again. And it's not, maybe it might not be in like the, how Drake does it, mm -hmm. how he did it repetitively, but it's like every other song is about the same thing. So it's like same thing in our head. Guys, it's all about confidence when it's time for sex. Am I right? Sir. And what's a better confidence booster than a fun round with your partner? All courtesy of the Chewables from BlueChew.com. Shout out BlueChew. What's BlueChew.com, you ask? So BlueChew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of a cost. And now they have Vardenafil mint flavored chewables with active ingredients in Levitra and Staxin so you guys can stay hard and fresh. BlueChew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of erectile dysfunction. So BlueChew is an online prescription service so no more visits to the doctor's office no more awkward conversations and no waiting in line for the pharmacy and it ships right to your door in a discreet package so the process is simple you guys sign up at bluechew.com consult with one of their licensed medical providers and once you're approved they'll send you the prescription within days and bluetooth sildenafil and teletafil tablets are now chewable so for anyone that doesn't like swallowing pills there's no problem there so if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information and don't forget the special deal for our listeners try blue chew free if you use promo code jumpers at checkout j-u-m-p-e-r-s just pay five dollars shipping that's bluechew.com promo code jumpers and you receive your first month free all right so i know a lot of you guys have not gone holiday shopping yet and it's getting to that time where malls can start getting packed you're gonna have to wait a long time so right now you guys can shop early skip the stress and snag some of the best deals of the season on something everyone will love and that's premium audio products from raycon so when you're looking for a gift that everyone needs you can't go wrong with getting them some earbuds or headphones shout out to our sponsor raycon their wireless earbuds headphones and speakers offer useful features and almost custom comfort fit and up to 54 hours of battery life and as the person gifting them you've got to love that they start at half the price as other premium audio brands plus raycon makes it easy with holiday gift guides for everyone in your life mom dad co-worker or sibling you can find raycon in stores now like kohl's or walmart but let me tell you right now, you're going to get the best deal when you use our special link, buyraycon.com slash jumpers. Trust me, guys, I was on a flight earlier. I was using the Raycons. It's such a good feel. It doesn't hurt my ears when I'm listening too long. And it also includes a noise isolation feature. So any other outside noises don't interrupt my listening experience. So right now, go to buyraycon.com slash jumpers and use code EARLYBF to get 20% off site-wide. That's 20% off any Raycon product, which all almost never happen. Or you guys can even save bigger and get 30% off Raycon's exclusive holiday bundles. So that's code EARLYBF at buyraycon.com slash jumpers for 20% off your Raycon purchase. Mm. But yeah, but yeah go, going back so going back to the ghost thing, yeah. I'll go back to takeoff because there was this video on the internet that a guy had this like radio transmitter thing mm. and he did a whole ritual. For, for takeoff? For takeoff. And it was done the day after he died. Oh, shit. So, November 2, I'll show you the video. It's fucked. Let me see. Yeah. So, he, the whole thing, he's asking for takeoff to talk to him. Mm -hmm. So, look. Really sorry for how you lost your life. 28 years old at a young age. Do you have anything you want to say right now about that? Listen. Dude, no way. Dude, I miss... He says, dude, I miss Quavo. What the fuck? Fam, there's more. There's more. Hold on. So after, I think he asked, um, why do you think... Or or your killer is still on the loose? Yeah. Why do you think he did that? And then he goes... Yo, 
Yo. They all wanted to size me up. That That's like... The crazy thing is, because mm. it sounds like shit you would say. Exactly. Bro. No, it it's sounds like, like shit you would say. It's not even it's like, like realistic answers. Yeah. And the last one, this one's crazy. Hold on. So I think he asked. Do you know who it was that shot you? Do you know who it was? Yeah, oh. probably wanted to ask for money. What were they doing? They were doing this and they got into, oh, pause. But they, they got into gambling uh, with yeah, dice yeah, yeah. and they wanted money. I think it was like $5,000 or something yeah. like that. Because he didn't pay him or something. Fam, shit. that shit is crazy. I don't, I hopefully that shit is not real, fam. Fuck. Damn. Yeah. If that shit's real, bro. Because I remember I seen one with X too. Yeah. And because I don't know if it's specifically that guy, but a lot of people, they try and yeah, like yeah. talk to they celebrities talk to after their death, yeah. right? Man, I think what if the reason you can conjure celebrities specifically mm. is because going back to what we're saying, doing these contracts, they can't ascend to where they need to be. Facts. Now they're stuck on a different plane. Facts, bro. That's why those ones, like, you can actually really contact. Re exactly. Think about that. That's a crazy yeah. theory. Exactly. The Jesus, the fam, the Jesus contract. Why, whenever we talk about prophecy and, and uh, shit that's going on about uh, the religious... Um, uh, what do you call this dried up river mm. that doesn't go viral right but as soon as i say the girl the little girl who prayed to the d word 14 million views <laughs> why do you come on bro like it's right in front of yeah, our face yeah yeah man. yeah like the more we preach it the more it goes viral i know bro you feel me? it's fucked it's fucked it's fucked i'm telling you like now that i'm seeing all this it's like it's so in front of my face and it's like there was another one I remember you texting me. You're mm -hmm. like, I oh, I don't know if you want to say it, but I was like, I I don't like Logan Paul now. He he's just trying to he's just trying to do whatever not to get canceled. Yeah. And did you notice what happened? What happened? In one of his videos, that he's literally when he talks about Andrew Tate. Yeah. He's literally reading off a phone. Oh yeah, that's what I showed you. Oh yeah, oh, you did. That's the one I sent to you. Yeah yeah. He's like, but it's like he's reading off a dialogue. He's like. What Andrew Tate's doing is not good. It'll lead on to... Yeah, I know, no. Like, That's the thing. Because I... For me, I keep it 100 with you guys. That's one thing I'll say truthfully. Anything I say on, on, on camera, anything I say in public is literally how I feel. Yeah, yeah. It's literally my opinions, how I feel. I'm not going to... I'm not going to pretend to be somebody. I'm not going to pretend to say things because it's, quote unquote, safer and... Safer, yeah. A movement that should be pushed instead. Mm -hmm. Never that. Whatever I feel, I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. Now... Someone like Logan Paul, bro, he was being told everything to say. Now that's a that's a sense of deception. Yeah. Because you trust him because his personality and other things, right? He runs the media too. Mm hmm Now the moment something in in the in the news becomes very, very relevant and quote unquote dangerous topic. Yeah. Because I think it's because he's been canceled before, yeah. but he literally has handlers to talk about things for him. Oh, That's for why real? he had that script. But it makes sense business wise, but at the same time, it's like I lose respect for those people because it's fuck, why can't you just be yourself? Why can't you just if you want to make a change in something, why don't you just speak up? Yeah. Because that that's is. how it really happens, right? But obviously people are scared and they don't want to do that shit. <coughs> but he is like I can see it from a business perspective. It's like he does have like lots of brands and deals going on. So it's like he has to do the right thing. That's what selling out is. Yeah. That's literally what selling out is. Like, I, I still think he's a goat. Don't get me wrong. I still think he's a goat. Yeah. But the fact that certain creators are moved like that where they, they literally fake and deceive us with what they're saying mm -hmm. i don't mess with to anybody it, even if it's somebody i know if somebody deceiving me in front of my face like i'm gonna be pissed you know yeah right like yeah. if somebody's deceiving you like that that's just okay i have a theory right now all of our problems in the world is because of lying and deception oh, facts. think about that facts. real quick because if there's no liars there's literally no problem every single thing in the world fam is because of lying and deception a lie it's like a smoke screen yeah like you really don't see shit until it's like comes up it's like oh now there's an argument yeah because look if, if there's a conflict right and there's no lying involved the conflict is what resolved whether it even be through negative acts it's still resolved yeah. but certain things that happen where they're hiding and deception is involved that conflict could be postponed for years on years on years. Who even knows? Thousands of years. And all of a sudden, the secret comes out. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? It comes out later. So lying and deception really just holds back. And then it later reveals itself at an even maybe worse time. Yeah, but I feel like it's like, 
it goes both ways. It's like honesty too. If you want to be honest, then that also makes you like susceptible to be canceled. It's like, oh, if Logan Paul did say what he was on his mind, he could be canceled. He would be canceled. So it's like, there, is there a right way to go? It's like, yeah, you're being honest, but it's like maybe honest is, you know, is bad in some in some ways. Okay, I'm gonna say this though. I'm yeah. gonna say this. Look, even if you're honest, right? If you're honest, I think at least those people they can decide for themselves if they like you or not. Yeah. If you're just lying and deceiving people, now we can't even know if we like you or not because you're yeah. you're just fake. But I get it. I get it though in the influencer perspective because a lot of influencers is like, oh, these are my fans. I have to keep growing my fans and I have to say this and this and this. And that's where it gets like clouded. It's like mm. that's when they start selling out. You feel me? Have yeah. you ever have you ever gotten like an experience where it's like, oh shit, you could have sold out. Could have sold out. Nah, yeah. I never. I just told you, I oh, never okay. sell out. Man. No, no, like experience, like an experience, like a close experience where, like, I don't know, maybe behind the scenes you were given some like this. I don't know. Never, that bro. Never, happened. never, fam. And and that goes. That just goes to because I watch so many mafia movies. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like imagine <laughs> that's someone, like rule one. Like, yeah. <laughs> imagine if someone came up to you with like um, let's say five billion dollars, right? Yeah. And he's like Carlos, you and Gavin are not allowed to talk about no more Illuminati theories on your podcast. You taking that? Mm. Here's what I'll do. Yeah. Fuck. I don't even. This is this is super smart, but like I don't uh -huh. even know if I want to say it. I'm gonna say it anyways. Fuck it. I'll take that five billion dollars, right? And what I what, what I'll do? Just uh, not. Yeah, uh, I won't. Yeah, I won't. I'll listen. I'll yeah. listen. But you know what I will do? What? I'll fund <laughs> another podcast <laughs> but no. for them to talk about what? <laughs> oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. Just because the contract says I can't talk about it doesn't mean my cousin can't. That's hard though. That's hard. Why? Because it's like. You know how you're the fate. You're like people know you as that guy. Mm. So you have to build your cousin up the same way, and that's gonna take lots of time. And you know that's just probably not gonna work because it's like, oh, you're copying him. Mm. They're gonna be like, oh shit, like that. So it's like maybe as soon as you take that five billion, boom, it's over. You already sold out. Mm. Theory know? right now. Yeah. What if some creators on YouTube are literally in that? A hundred. What if? Yeah. So what if some OG YouTubers who knows who it is, right? Mm -hmm. They mentor certain creators and don't tell the public. Oh, oh like a think industry about it. plan. Like think about exactly. What if Mr. Beast is actually in control of Arak's YouTube channel? Oh, same type of content, same type of thumbnails, same formula. A lie. And their friends. How did he learn this type of stuff? And remember, I remember in a podcast, Mr. B said, yeah. what if you had a team of creators? Why don't you just work together with creators? And since they make mistakes, we'll be learning faster because they're making oh, mistakes before nah. me. So what if Mr. B, he has expendable money, you know what yeah. I mean? Even if it means like, you know, g giving them success, comes back full fold. That's wild. Think about that. Now, wow. like... Obviously, this is this is definitely a a, a theory theory because who knows? Yeah. Like, there's no true answer to it. We'll never know for sure. But it's fun to think about. Look at all these different um thumbnails. They look very similar. Look at all these different formulas. They look because it could just be people copying, but it could be mentorship I behind closed doors. Yeah, it's like it's like at at some point you would have a monopoly, mm -hmm. and you're just you're just playing with it now. It's like exactly. oh, I, I don't even have to be on camera. Yeah. That's wild. Think about so, that. So if there's any other YouTubers that you knew fell off or got canceled and and maybe there's a similar one, mm -hmm. maybe that shit is true. Because David Dobrik, I don't know, uh, after he, he got through that altercation, kind of fell off of YouTube for mm -hmm. a bit. Maybe he went onto another guy's vlogging channel and he did his content. Check it out. Check it out. Look, if I'm, if I'm a huge creator, right, and I have attention... And I just pick someone random out of a bucket, right? Like yeah. a, a random creator out of a bucket. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, yo, okay, here, here's how it'll go. You'll go viral. You just have to give me some percentage, feel me? A hundred percent. I'll I'll put you on. I'll I'll, you know what I mean? Promote yeah. your channel. You'll get where you're going. I'll mentor you. Yeah. But give me a percentage. Boom. You do all the work, Bro. call comes back to me. You need a call, how to do things, boom, I got you. But give me that money too. Dog, that's that has the life, bro. No, that's how mafia works. Yeah, that, that, that <laughs> shit, I yeah. want to try the fucking money. <laughs> like what the fuck if it's like that? No, but I feel like it's like a lot of people want to be um the face, mm -hmm. you know, and it's like 
really if, if now that i'm in it it's like yo it would be sick if it's like i would be you know i was sneeko's manager yeah he's like I, I love this his quote on his bio he says i can send you viral so fire because mm-hmm. all he does stay in his bed boom he he manages and puts out the content because he knows the algorithm and he makes money he doesn't go through the drama he doesn't have to draw he doesn't shit, go through yeah. industry anything like that that's his life mm-hmm. so it's like shit if if anything like after jumpers jump whatever that may be mm-hmm. you feel me i'm gonna just fucking manage, just manage. someone else yeah and I, don't, I don't have to be in the limelight i personally know a creator and i don't want to like say a name because yeah but I personally know a creator that he used to be a huge YouTuber. I'm talking millions. Oh, fuck. Now, what he does now is literally just manages people. See, I would do that too, fam. He doesn't even he doesn't even yeah. make content anymore. He just manages people. But I feel like I feel like being in the limelight also gives you an advantage because you know how shit works. No, of course. I think yeah. that's a first step because yeah. like any creator needs to needs test the fields. How are you going to know the fields if you haven't even tended oh, to them? Man. You know? Yeah. That's a, that's um, a sick bar. How do you know I, the fields if you don't <laughs> tend to them? <laughs> Very, very good. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Talkspace. Using Talkspace feels a little like having a mental health professional in your pocket. Talkspace offers both therapy, psychiatry, and being able to reach out to my provider anytime, anywhere. Makes taking care of my mental health super easy. I'm more relaxed when I'm traveling, knowing that I can talk with my therapist whenever and I can send a message wherever. Working through things in therapy can be tough, but connecting with my therapist isn't. So me personally, I wholeheartedly recommend main talk space for your therapy you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you guys and this is typically within 48 hours so you guys can text video or send voice messages to your licensed therapist so it's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions from the comfort of your home and getting started is the most important part i know a lot of you guys don't want to go out and look for a therapist on your own but this makes it really quick and really easy to do and there's no need to wait until something goes wrong in your life to work with a therapist so of course talk space is also there to help with any specific challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with thousands of licensed therapists trained in over 40 specialties. So that includes anxiety, depression, relationships, and more. And your therapist can help you set and achieve any of the goals you have. So it's super convenient. So Talkspace is a mental health care that meets your needs wherever you are. It simplifies taking care of your therapy and psychiatry needs because it eliminates the need to communicate to appointments, miss time at work, or line up childcare in order to attend sessions. Plus, instead of waiting for an appointment, you can send text messages to your therapist to let them know the issues you're facing in real time. So as a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use our code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, to get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's JUMPERS at Talkspace.com. The holidays are almost here and there's plenty of t-shirt cheer thanks to our sponsor, True Classic Tees. Fellows, we have the perfect gift for your wish list. True Classic Tees are a gift for you, for her, and a great present for any guy in your life. True Classic is on a mission to maximize men's confidence by making them look good. Trust me when I say that this is a gift that the ladies will appreciate too. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men look great in their tees. And now you can save big when you do so. You can get 25% off with our exclusive link, trueclassic.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Support our show and check them out at trueclassic.com slash Last jumpers. If you're rocking a Santa bod, True Classics might be the Christmas gift miracle you've been waiting for. Almost all men's t-shirts are designed to look good to certain body types. Well, True Classics team designed t-shirts to make fellas of all sizes feel confident in their clothing. For me, it was super hard to find the exact perfect fit, but True Classics, I can hands down say, have the best cut and fit on a t-shirt i've seen so far these tees taper towards the bottom but they fit tight around the chest and shoulders this is a desirable look that can be achieved by every body type from going to the gym to your first date there's no better look than a fresh tee they offer other menswear as well ranging from polos to workout shirts and even boxer brief designed to keep your boys feeling nice and comfortable get yourself or someone you love the number one gift on santa's list it's a gift for you but really a gift for her so get 25 percent off at trueclassic.com slash jumpers plus free shipping included on purchases over a hundred dollars that's 25 percent off at trueclassic.com slash jumpers santa won't be the only one saying thanks to true classic all right so there's this thing i heard about i just want to talk to you about quick okay, so did you know there's a game console that 
it will kill you if you die in the game. Tell me why I was just gonna say that. You gonna say that? <laughs> yeah. The VR. The VR. So the creator of the Oculus, right? Yeah. I forgot his name exactly, but they work for Meta. Uh -huh. Now they inspired their VR, this VR headset specifically uh -huh. after Sword Art Online. Wow. And in that anime, what happens uh -huh. if you die in the game? you die in real life. Now, what he did, he made it so that there's three explosives like strapped onto the VR headset itself, yeah. right? It looks crazy. It's like, it's like this, this, and this. Yeah, like, like fucking dynamite <laughs> yeah, on your shit. Like dynamite like on your forehead, fam. So pretty much, this is actually real. Like this isn't uh, even just a concept. It actually works. That's what so he's somebody saying. Somebody has died? Yeah. People can actually die if they play it. Now, it's not in use for obvious reasons, yeah, yeah. but do you think personally that we can get to that level? And now there's this whole niche of gamers. I don't know if you know this, yeah. but there's this whole niche of gamers that they love playing games that have like a sense of um, sense of risk at it. <laughs> now, there's a game called Loss Slash Loss. Have you heard of it? Never. So in this game, if you lose... And if you kill somebody in the game, uh -huh. it'll actually not only delete the game itself on your computer, but it will actually delete files, random files on your computer if you lose. What the hell? Yeah. So it's a kind of, it's a sense of like, there's a risk involved. There's a risk. Of, I might lose my information that I have on my laptop. So let's say you're playing on a work laptop uh -huh. <laughs> and then, and you're, and you're playing that game. If you lose and you and you die in the game, you'll lose documents or files that you have saved on that computer. That sucks. But that's like a sense of, it, it, it's a niche, right? That is more, I feel like it's like, it's like dead ass like kinky gamers. Yeah, that's what it is. Cause there's there's people like that that'll do things like almost adrenaline junkies. Have you seen that guy uh, Free Solo? No. So this guy will climb mountains, okay. right? No equipment, fucking thousands of feet up in the air bro okay no equipment if he falls he's falling to his death you never seen that shit never bro so imagine no equipment just my hands yeah climbing like a a, a fucking a mountain like a vr thing but like you actually no fall. i'm talking about real i'm oh, talking about real, real life look i'm gonna show you this this is pretty crazy free solo he, he'd climb a mountain like this no equipment attached bro just his hands just his hands literally just his hands what the hell? Yeah. This guy fucking... his hand. This is a real this person. God, man. I forgot his name exactly. Fuck. I forgot Wait, his how, name. How, how do you... Is there, like, is there, like, footage of him climbing? Alex Honnold. Alex Honnold. That's and his there's, name. And there's footage of him climbing these yeah, mountains. he climbs fucking mountains, bro. That's... And there's a whole culture of that, too. Oh, my God. And I think in one of his interviews, he said part of the reason he likes it so much is because there is that sense of... Death? If I make one mistake, I'm dead. You're dead? What the hell? So imagine, would you would you play something like that? Hell no. What the hell? I value my life. Like, I want to live to tomorrow. Now, if you think about it, what if this game is that? <laughs> that this game is that? What do you mean? This game we're in right now. This simulation we're in right now. What if that's it? What? <laughs> oh, you just put that twist yeah, on it. Think about it. Yeah, but I feel like... the. <laughs> Because the problem with video games, right? The problem with video games you can respond. is you can respawn. Now, if you play a game that's really true to life, I guess the most realistic. Because imagine you play a game. Imagine there's somebody that only plays a video game until they die one time. They die one and time. they can never play that game again. Imagine all games were like that. Yeah. How much different would our life be? How much different would um, kids growing up be with that, with that idea that it can all be over? A lie. That's why. No, that right? I, I get it now. Yeah, I get it. Because because we're conditioned. We're almost conditioned to think. Um. Oh, because after this, I have another chance. Have after another this, chance, I have another. Yeah. After this, I have another chance. Mm -hmm. Bruh, if you think about it, we all only have one life. If you want to get shit done, you get it done now, or you might not have the chance, fam. A lie. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. knock on wood, but some of y'all might not have the chance if you wait too long. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, get that shit, go ahead and get that shit, man. Go ahead and get that shit. You know, on the, the mountain climbing too, mm. I seen a video where it's like, um, you know, there's like hangers, right? Mm -hmm. So if they're like, if they're caught in a storm and they have to wait it out, they, they literally hang tents. And, oh, and, yeah. And they have to sleep in that, like, like imagine you're like down, sloping down a mountain, <laughs> yeah. but your tent is like also on that slope. Yeah, I seen that. And there's like one, there's like one rope holding you. Yeah, like, I'm fucking like Mount Everest, yeah. like sleeping on a, a and you're little... Like, you're sleeping this way. You're, you're sleeping up. Upwards. Like that's wild to me. I think I think I couldn't do that specifically because I yeah. turn and 
shit in my room all the time. Word. Yeah, I, I turn it and go fucking. Yeah. Yeah. But no, that, that, <laughs> I'll fall yeah, off, bro. Fact. But no, that VR stuff is is crazy because I I also know there's like this this really cursed website. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard about um, uh, Paradise One Two Three. Nah, have you ever heard of that? that? What is that? So it's like it's like a little like mini game uh like the website you can go on if you type in Paradise One Two Three dot com. I think mm -hmm. it brings you into this like um. Uh, black screen right yeah and all you see what pops up is uh do you want to go to paradise mm. so first of all you're thinking like what the fuck is paradise yeah. so you click on yes i boom it takes you to the next screen now i think you have to choose between two doors it shows you two doors right mm -hmm. and if you choose the right door then you'll go on to the next game but no one's ever chosen the right door mm. they've always chosen the wrong door and as soon as that wrong door like pops up the screen will go black. Yeah. And if you scroll, scroll, scroll down after, uh, you see like a face at the bottom of your screen. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have said that that face has traumatized them. And every time they like they have a nightmare, that oh, face, they see it. it's recurring. Yeah, that face is in their nightmare doing something bad to them. Like they're either chasing them, getting murdered by them. Oh it's shit! The same so face. It's like permanently yeah, fucked. Permanently. It's thing. like burned in their head. Yeah. So if you choose that wrong door. That face, when you scroll down to the bottom, will forever be with you. Damn. Yeah. That's kind of like incantation now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's, That's like what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, oh shit, you did this wrong thing. Now you have to live with it. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Do you ever think about shit that you've done in the past? Because if you think about it, karma's a real thing, right? Like if, if you do someone dirty and then don't do good after. Yeah. Because I can, I can positively say like, I do the greatest I can. You know what I mean? I do the most good I can possibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know. And uh, I don't know if you heard, like, remember I was telling the story of Nadi? Yeah. One of his gang members also from the same borough mm -hmm. died because he committed suicide, right? Damn. And, and a lot of the other boroughs are literally saying, oh, we're smoking on him. We're smoking on him. Like, oh, he, we didn't even need to do anything. He took himself out. Shit. Like, fam, like, remember what I told you? It's like, do you think it's going to get worse? Fam, these people are making fun of someone who... who died of suicide and yeah, i was like yeah. fam like that's crazy like it's already getting bad bro like imagine like i thought that was the cut off mm -hmm. like that's definitely a crossing a line fam like you don't but make the thing is we see that we hear that in rap like since i've since never the heard beginning. that before Just making someone makes fun of someone doing the s word never before i've, I've seen someone like smoking on thing he took himself out. We ain't need to do it. No, nah, but that's that's, that's where I see like how toxic shit is getting already. Yeah. Feel me? Like I know it's fucking crazy, but yeah. some of that stuff doesn't even surprise me. Like how how the world is right now. That sucks, bro. Because that's that's how you know we're desensitized. Yeah, bro. that's how you know, bro. Okay, there's another theory I want to say. I forgot to say it. Okay, but you know in the recent in her loss on Drake's album. Yeah, yeah. Did you know he hit a bar in there about X? Oh, um, you heard about that? I think so. Yeah. Let me pull it over. Right pull now. it up. Pull it up. On the song "No BS" on her loss, right? Yeah. Maybe People are saying 20, maybe. that this bar is actually a diss to to X. Yeah. And quote unquote, him saying that he did it. Yeah. He, you know, on a live X. Yeah, yeah. Or at least like called the hit. Listen. Oh, so did you get it no. so do you get it if so he if he held his tongue maybe he'd be if he held his tongue on the live maybe he'd be alive again so x i don't know if you guys know but he had an ongoing beef during when he was alive and he said some shit about him on instagram live yeah now the beginning part the the 10 5 did you get that part or not Ten five, no so listen to it again Maybe I should do a 20, right? Yeah. Maybe I should break that 20, do a 10. 10 in Roman numerals is X. What? <laughs> now listen, what? listen, ready? So five plus five again equals what? 10. And X, 10 X. is X. So X, X, X. Whoa. Nah. <laughs> What? I don't know. That's no, that's, that's just kind of crazy. No, don't say I don't know. You know. 
No, that was allegedly found. I'm not saying it. This this is TikTok saying it, not me. Yeah, this is definitely allegedly. But holy smokes, why though? I don't know, bro. I don't know. And then people are saying in the comments like, um. X is Drake's version of Tuka, cause yeah, low key calling back to stuff Damn, like he, that. He does all, always talk about X though. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. What do you think? If X was still alive, was do you think Drake was threatened by his success? Is that why? Or no, I think it's it, it's a lot of because he had some shit to say. Yeah, but that that's usually the part. But you don't think that like there's a thing is like oh he has such a positive impact on the world and i've and drake's already signed these you know those contracts it's like you got to protect that thing if he's that okay big, if, if you want to talk in like a business perspective yeah x was probably bigger than most rappers at the, t- oh at the time God, yeah. and he wasn't even on radio nothing and he was preaching a different message than all these other rappers yeah so to, to for a big dog you have to combat it with a big dog mm. or a bigger dog. And who was that bigger dog? Like, I'm not a... This it's it's hard to say because we're not Drake, feel me? Like, yeah. I don't know how he's feeling. Mm-hmm. And who knows if this is even true itself. No, but, yeah. but if you do see a competition, obviously you're going to want to like... And maybe it's not even it's not even Drake willingness to do this. You know how it's like, oh, um, uh, they'll pay so much money, you feel me, for him to do stuff like this. See, it's like, you think yeah. I'm spitting stupid shit like the outsiders, but low-key, man, I, like, this shit is true. Don't say it's true. I just said allegedly, oh, yeah, fam. Allegedly, Holy uh, shit. And, but maybe this might be allegedly true. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Eat that part in. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, listen. It's just weird to me uh, that even in sicko mode, you know how he had that whole... If you guys don't know that theory... Yeah, oh my goodness. Um, there's a person that looked like X in the sicko mode music video and then like a meteor crashed on mm-hmm. who looked like X, right? Mm-hmm. It's just weird to me that it, it's brought up again and again. Even uh, SMS, triple X, that's the only time I shoot below the neck. X got shot where? Yeah. On his neck. And that was in a Drake song. That's a Drake bar. It's just weird. It's just weird. Yeah. Nah, like three times now? <laughs> three times is a bit much like, like the first two times okay the first two times all right even the first time i was like oh shit like it was right in front of our face now 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 this is where it gets crazy is because it's like who else would he be talking about Gavin? no one fam drake yo drake if i was that power right yeah I, i'm not there's a there's an unknown rules like you never should beef with someone that is below you you feel me it's a waste of time mm. you feel me who was who was at his stage? You're not. He's not gonna be with a nobody. Yeah, be with nobody. And you know he was, yeah, X was pretty big. That's so. what I'm saying. He, yo, da, I didn't know her loss had so many disses because there's a lot of there's uh, there's a hundred percent. Oh, a lot of it was Megan The Stallion too. Oh, Megan The Stallion <laughs> too. And I think Megan tweeted is like, "Stop using my name, uh, for clout, shit like that." But Drake says, "Oh, shot her in the foot. I thought she was a stallion. That's crazy. <laughs> like it's it's not even like subtle, fam. It's like." You know. Yeah. You know, it's like... What's crazy about that, too, is... um, Was there even evidence? Like, was there evidence that know. she was really shot in the foot? I really don't know. Because I heard, I heard there was... Yeah, if, if there's none, why... Toy should be in jail right now, but he's still Yeah, he's out, not. Because so it like, wasn't true. Yeah. It's crazy how the media manipulates what's going on, man. This whole, this whole thing, man. It's like... But aren't we part of it? <laughs> nah. Like, because we're still free. Yeah. Like, like we don't have no person that's like... Yeah, can yeah. only talk about this stuff. Facts. Or do we? Shut no, up. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Nah, that's why we we stayed. We're staying in Toronto, man. See, that would be a crazy. Con- that's a real crazy conspiracy. If yeah. if um this whole stroll was actually like a lie, it's like stranger pulled. Yeah. There's no way. There's literally no way. The way I'm speaking right now, there's no way. Yeah. Or maybe you never know. Or maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but the thing of it is, like, there's so much like, oh, it maybe, maybe shit like that. It's like you really never. No, know. the whole world is a maybe, bro. Because yeah. we don't know for sure, and we don't know exactly what's gonna happen. Because But what lying. we can do is. Think for ourselves, right? <laughs> what we can do is evaluate what's going on yeah. in the present, past, and future. Uh, so that's how we can live our life. But if we live in a world where we just pretend things are happening mm-hmm. and we... Okay, what what it seems right now... This is crazy because I'm quote Naruto real quick. Yeah. So Madara, his plan with the infinite Tsukiyomi was okay. to put everybody in a quote unquote like simulation, everybody in a dream where it's their most blessed dream possible. Now, what it feels like is a lot of people, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people, they're trying to create the world into this 
this reality that's not actually real. We're trying to make mm. it make certain things feel better than it should. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, kinda. It's like we're we're kind of writing this narrative around things to make it seem like they are, but they aren't. Oh yeah, like Instagram. It's like oh how on your stories you can post you're really happy, but nah, it's like real life. Like you're really depressed. That too. That mm. too. But also, if you take it to a deeper level of even what's I don't okay. I'm not gonna talk on that. Never mind. Why? No, no, no. But I, I'm gonna let you guys decipher that for yourself. Yeah. But that's what it's really looking like yeah. is infinite Sukiyomi, fucking Madara. Mm -hmm. Y'all thought Madara was a villain? Shit. Yeah. Look Plot around, twist, bro. Man. <laughs> Plot twist. Yeah. No, right but, here. Yeah, no, that's wild. <laughs> uh, but I, I realized what you said about the last one, where you said um, being comfortable is uh, will lead to depression or some shit. Yeah. And that makes sense, is because uh. When you're looking, when you're going through all these apps, you feel at home. Like Instagram, that feels like home to you. Like mm -hmm. TikTok, boom, you're at your second house, fam. So it's like you're you're there for so long. And then what do these apps do to you? They make you like socially anxiety, like socially anxious and that you get depressed after. Yeah, because like, if you exit that, I told you, right? Like yeah. you exit and then boom, all of a sudden it feels like a it's different wild. temperature. Yeah, I finally got it. Yeah, it's, mm. yeah. That's one of the deepest shit I said, but uh, I yeah. feel like a lot of people didn't like. They didn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to comprehend that I one. Know. Wild. Okay, let, let me get into some ghost stories before we end it off because I have a crazy one for you. So speaking about social media, I have a theory. Okay. What if the programmers for Instagram, Twitter, whatever it may be, right? Okay. Have you noticed Instagram always has bugs? Yes or no? Kind of, yeah. A lot. Of, a lot of Almost <laughs> always there's a new bug with the new update, whatever it may be, blah, blah, blah right? <laughs> yeah. And a lot of the time, it's a bug that's never even fixed, bro. Mm. Like... Um, the search thing, that shit was broken for a long time. It's still not even fixed. Now, yeah. check this out. What if mm -hmm. programmers that work for these companies purposely leave bugs unfixed so they still have a job? Okay. Listen, because if it's fixed, mm -hmm. how would they still have a job? Fixed it already. If they made the program perfect, Gavin, and never had any issues... Yeah. Why would they be necessary? Wouldn't they just need one other person just in case rather than a whole team because yeah. they built it that well? Mm -hmm. Now check this out. Now, if you take it to a deep level. Now, this is crazy. I don't even know if I should be saying this, but let's say you have like a therapist you're talking to. Okay. Do you do you truly believe your therapist would? No. That would actually like fully help me now. Because then they're out of their job. Because then they're out of your job. That, oh, my God. <laughs> Think about that real quick. Think about that real quick. Oh, shit. Like, let's say my job was to console you and um, help you with your problems, right? Yeah. If all of a sudden one day I fix you and then you have no more problems, how are you going to come back you to me? I have no job. I don't have a job no more if you, you yeah. know what I mean? If you, if I already, if I fixed your issues, your problem, whatever. Now, what's crazy too uh -huh. is think about everything where that, I guess concept can translate to even if I was like a teacher. If I made you the greatest basketball basketball player ever, and I was your like your basketball teacher, only you know what I mean you you don't even care no more. You're not gonna come back and like Facts. learn more lessons if I teach you too quick. That's so funny. what if even in school? What if kids like let's say in high school they can take on like serious career jobs if they're taught it and they're taught properly mm. with proper experience like let's say they they're put into mentorships whatever it may be because yeah. look at carpenters some of them have been doing it in beginning high school Facts. and they've been doing mentorships and shit yeah. now what if that's possible but they put us into a system to you know squeeze it on yeah. uh let's see if we can milk a little bit more money here a little bit more money there yeah. oh books yeah that's a little bit more money uh, oh fucking um oh extracurricular okay let me book a little bit more there because we're all together anyway yeah. right oh shit um we're doing this assignment you need to get this this remote and blah, blah blah so you can shoot it at the wall and shit you know we need all these different things yeah the click the clicker from the university is one of the dumbest shit. Like, that's the craziest <laughs> finesse ever fifty dollars for for something where you use for like uh two quizzes is crazy yeah, they made me buy a freaking clicker for a class when we live in 2020, bro. Yeah, you couldn't make a Google form or something like just there's just Kahoot. Under there's yeah. literally Kahoot. There's literally we can even do that shit on our computers. Why do we have to use a click? That's yeah, so that, that was a, that's too. definitely a finesse. That's the biggest finesse ever, that's bro. That's one of the biggest finesses ever. I see looking back now, there's so many times I've been, you know, finessed in a way or yeah. been deceived in a way. Like I said, 
some all of almost all of our biggest problems are because of deception and lying yeah. right and that's how we, be, we get taken advantage Facts. of I, so <laughs> if, if the problem is if I don't learn from it then yeah. it's a problem but if I look back and learn from it then okay I, fool me one time fool me <laughs> no, one time you know I knew I knew Carlos was going crazy when um I heard the story where he said uh, when he was ordering McDonald's, he tried to order some like extra lettuce, and that charged him more. And like you didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> That's how I, I knew you were going crazy. This is like, bro, it's it's. A, he's like, I would rather buy something else than than uh go against my will to buy extra lettuce. No, no, because a- extra lettuce was like what twenty cents. Like what the fuck, twenty cents or extra lettuce, bro? Twenty cents, man. You know what I noticed? It's like. You know when you you buy something, right? Mm-hmm. Y- they charge you. They charge you. <laughs> yeah. But but when when you uh, when you take shit off, like they they don't like. Oh, they don't give you back the money. Yeah, they don't give you back money. So if you say you wanted no tomatoes, yeah, why they, don't they give you back money? I don't know exactly. That's how they make money, bro. <laughs> oh shit. That's how they make money. Is yeah. That's that's that system, bro. Yeah. But you yeah, go, going back to the social media stuff, there was this guy. Um, I have a story where mm-hmm. uh, he wanted to do this crazy thing for um his wife and propose like crazy to his wife because he wanted to to do more than what they were doing like on the the crazy proposals that other people were doing. Yeah. So you know that one where it's like that guy put up like um drones in the sky mm-hmm. where there would be a case. And the drones would move and it would open and then the ring oh, would come out. Oh yeah. So this guy wanted to top it. Mm-hmm. And so he booked he booked like this um a uh, hotel, right? And what he knew was the o- hotel was underground and it had a view of like the ocean where they were staying. Yeah. So it was on the coast of Africa and they were on a vacation getaway, right? Mm-hmm. So his whole plan was to make sure his wife was staring at the glass wall Mm -hmm. and he would go and swim down, swim down and have a piece of paper reading, oh, blah, 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 blah. Will you marry me? Mm. So what the guy did, he did this. So he went down, he swam, he swam. The thing is, yeah. his girlfriend didn't realize where he was. Wait, why? Because he just didn't know where he w- uh, he went. Mm-hmm. And so he swam 30 feet underwater and he had the paper to the window. Yeah. And as soon as he flipped it, he passed away. What? Why did he pass away? Because he couldn't make it to the surface. Oh, fuck. He couldn't make it to the surface. The wife was like, where, where, where is he? whole time he was down there trying to propose damn 30 feet under damn yeah. so he was waiting there and he because was, she was late that that fam there was he, that's he was there. oh my god damn r.i.p that dude bro. he did the most but it wasn't necessary he did the most wow that's a w idea though that is a w idea but at the end of the day bro <laughs> Would you do that much for a girl? No, I'm not. I'm not swimming thirty feet under with no proper gear. I guess if you want to be creative, like W creativity, that is, that is crazy. Creativity. Yeah, W creativity. But sometimes there's some boundaries, bro. Like oh, for sure, death. <laughs> That's a boundary. Sometimes there's some boundaries, man. Death is definitely a boundary. Like, I know some people. Um, there's some people that almost died because they wanted a horse at their wedding. A horse? Because you know horses are mad dangerous if they're oh, not taken care of properly. For sure. You know kick. a horse kick. Yeah. Can literally kill you. Yeah, people have died because of horse kicks. Bro. Lie. Imagine that. Yeah, off topic, but I seen this random video where you know how it's like. I guess the horse dick is one of the largest objects in the world. Of course, Gavin would no, know. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Emson said that on the thing. Hey yo, Emson said right, right. podcast. Okay, okay. And I randomly went on this video. I saw this video where she was she was washing yo yo chill where she was washing it. And it was like. Like it was oh like a my vacuum, God, yeah. and it was that shit was long. Pause. That shit was long. I like I didn't believe that it was actually true. Cause like when you look at a horse, where would that be? What are you talking about? Of course they have no, but but fam, if you look at a horse, you don't see that. Like how? But in this video, I like I I noticed that shit. Pause. But that shit was like I. Why did we never? I never recognized this before. You feel me? I didn't I know, know that shit was like real. I don't know. It's but probably yeah, a fe- maybe it's a female horse, like you see. A female has a, a thing. No, maybe you've seen female horses, oh. and then that's when you seen a male horse. Yeah. C- okay. Then I've ne- probably never seen a. Because a lot of the time I see male dogs. Like it's rarely do I oh. see a, a female dog. You know. Yeah, but that was just off topic. I was like, holy shit. 
Hey, yo. Yo, bro. F- pause. First of all, <laughs> nothing will beat. Yo, Michael Jordan, huge <laughs> dick. Huge dick is crazy. Uh, 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 uh. No, that, Jordan- that, that, was, that, was, um, that was uncalled for stuff. Like, See, like, when I was editing that, I was like, should I should I save him and keep this in? I mean, yeah, I- keep, keep it in, yeah, bro. It I in. told you. Like, if, if I'm going to say something, I want it to be real. I don't yeah. want to, like, hold back. Fact. And I obviously want to be respectful. That's why I'm... I be the most respectful I can, and you know, w, w. yeah, W honesty. But I'm still learning how to be a, a podcast. I've only been, I'm getting like a lie. How how long, bro? Like a year and a half? two two years oh, officially. Two years? I think, yo, this might be our one year. I mean, two year anniversary. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, November. literally, this episode might be two yeah, year anniversary. Right here. Damn. So yeah, leave down a comment. I'll wish us a happy two year anniversary. Yes, Make sure uh, hit that like button. Let's get a lot of likes this episode. Facts. Um, yeah, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Make sure to listen on Spotify, Apple. If you guys are going to work and want to listen to us in the car, make sure to download those episodes. We love you guys. That's right. If you guys can't watch it here, you guys can listen to it elsewhere. Yes. All right, jump or jump out. Deuces.